This is Social Confidential, where Adweek's social media editors take a look behind the logo to find out who's tweeting and sharing from major brands. I'm Jess Zafaris, and I'm here for a sweet yet also decidedly sour conversation with Shelby Jacobs, Social Marketing and Strategy Manager at 360i. But you may know her as the Commander-in-Chief of Legions of Sour Patch Kids and their fans on social media. So I saw the other day that you attempted to hypnotize your social audience as a marketing tactic. And honestly, I don't think it worked. I really think that like we've figured out over the last, especially year and a half, what really makes our audience click. And when it comes down to it, it's just delicious looking product. Finding new ways to display it is always like our challenge, but you know, we're doing a great job with that. And we're also having a lot of fun doing it. And so if that means we have to try and hypnotize our fans every once in a while, so be it. The hypnosis tweet really exemplifies SBK's more self-aware tone on Twitter, which is a common trait of brand accounts these days. How do you cultivate that tone and differentiate it from that of other brands? We do have a face to our product. I think a lot of brands have the challenge of trying to personify an inanimate object. Sour Patch Kids, when you look at our Twitter, you see a Sour Patch Kid. I think that's where we have the advantage is that when you look at us and you see us talking and we're self-aware, you almost see like a literal Sour Patch Kid. SPK is the most followed snack brand on TikTok with more than 1 million followers. How did you go about growing that account so rapidly? Because this happened in like a year. We're really big on real-time optimization and that that goes over to TikTok too. It's not just Twitter where you know things move a mile a minute. It's more like on TikTok where, you know, trends can last two weeks. Sound, sound trends can last multiple months. Well, we really have no rules when it comes to trends. We see something that we like that, you know, we think will work for the brand and is, is safe for us to play with and we'll hop on it as soon as possible. Our most viewed TikTok, my coworker removed everything from her refrigerator and stuffed it with Sour Patch Kids and just all she had to do was open the door and that was it. What would you say is the sweetest part of your SPK work? I would say the sweetest part of my work is just uh, having those clients that just trust you so emphatically and just like want to do things with you and are, are rarely ever saying no and just trust you to make the right decision for your brand. If you could offer one piece of advice to other brand social managers, what would it be? You know, slightly pushing the envelope and taking like very, 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 very small risks and then providing data that says like, yeah, this was a good move. That will allow clients to really like open up their trust and understand that like, oh, maybe we don't need to see everything. Maybe we don't need to touch everything. Maybe they do understand this. Maybe they do have it. That's why we hired them. And then just from a personal side, no one to log off. This job is 24 seven. You know, there have been plenty of times where it's been 2 a.m. and I'm like commenting on TikToks because it's fun and that's the part of my job I really enjoy. There are also times where I'm like, I can't, I cannot look at another tweet today and just, you know, set those limitations and know when to log off and understand that Twitter will be there tomorrow and it's okay to like give yourself some time. So Shelby, this has been an amazing conversation. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. I'm Jess Zafaris. See you next time on Adweek's Social Confidential.